Okay, well, gonna show you how I added the MOSFET onto the Wanho Duplicator 4 to allow for an additional cooling fan. This is just me bitching about not being able to get my filament out of my right extruder, which I never can. And all the way through this, you'll see me being quite uh, tentative, not wanting to break my uh, much loved printer. My ex electronics knowledge isn't. Uh, maybe the best in the world. So this is me just peeling the back, the bottom of the, the printer off, unscrewing the bolt and slipping it off. And you'll see this MOSFET's really small, really tiny. Uh, I had a GoPro on, I planned to do this from a couple of angles, but the GoPro was a complete failure. You can't really see anything here, I'm just applying a little bit of solder to each leg. And uh, just making sure I'm not overdoing it. And at the start here, I tried to place it in place and hold it with a little engineering screwdriver. But that allowed it to slip about the place. I found that if I put my finger on the MOSFET and touching the board at the same time, it would give it a better, give me a better grip for the solder. As you see, it just slipped there and filled my pants with a wee bit of poo. So here we go, just uh, touching the legs, the tinned legs, until I see the solder melting. Then finishing, going on to the next one. And uh, just doing that for every pin. And doing the same for the earth. I cut a bit out of this because my hand was in the way and there's no point in me just showing you a big blurry hand. But all the, all the legs are done. So now I'm just going to add a wee post, uh, tin the legs of it and heat it up the indentations in the PCB and just pushed it through while heating it quite, uh, quite do fucking rightly. Not very, not very elegant at all, but it worked. They're in there. They're soldered in. There's a nice shot in my hand. It's a good hand. Serves me well. And then just clip in the other little bit that the, the fan will at some point screw into. Now to test it to make sure that it works, I'd already sent the G-code out at this point, M126 by a USB cable, and it's showing 24 volts on the multimeter. So I was quite happy at this point. Nothing looked like it was uh, going on fire, no blue smoke. Now I'm just sending the M127 stop command, round about now, and see the voltage drops down to whatever millivolts I think that's just just noise hopefully that seems to work some of the job I'm not skilled in these sort of things at all and uh, I'm glad it worked hope it works for you too